Hi there, Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. This is your December 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, before I begin, please do know that this is still a general reading, so it may or may not tune in necessary for each and every Aries people out there. So just keep that in mind as we go along. So um yeah, um, we start the month of December for Aries people with the first card um, of the lovers. So the lovers is all about choices, all about um, all about love and relationship, all at the same time. But most importantly, it is a a card that we usually get wherein we are, you know. Um, a choice or a decision has a crucial role in our life or relationship and for you guys maybe you are um, thinking or discerning yourself whether to take action on a certain venture or a relationship or whether you should let things go or you know it really depends what's really happening for each and every one of you but this is definitely talking about partnerships talking about love all in general the next card that we have over here is the three of cups um here so the three of cups is not necessarily things about the past but it can talk about reunions or some form of happy moments that we had previously this can be a sense wherein you are wanting to make a decision to connect with someone from the past or maybe you're thinking about a relationship that has made you really happy made you feel really good about yourself all at the same time so you might be wanting to make a connection with that person maybe wanting to pursue a person this usually pops up wherein you know uh, maybe you you meet that person or you are wanting to make a decision to to have a form of reconciliation with a, a certain person to reconcile a relationship of some kind so you might be thinking of, of about that during the month of december especially that the three of cups has a lot to do with celebrations as well maybe you're thinking about um some form of happy venture <laughs> celebrating aura energy to a specific person in mind you're definitely thinking about someone and it's something that is really fun and light in nature now the third card that we have over here you know has a lot of basis into the situation and we have that with the six of pentacles over here and the six of pentacles has a lot of generous type of energy we want to give we want to share we want to be uh, a um, a giver very generous you know and while it does you know pentacles is all about finances and material stuff but when we are taking a look on this in a very um love type of reading this is like telling us that maybe you are contemplating of whether you should connect with a person you know that kind of thing um Remember that the Six of Pentacles has a scale to it. If you guys can see it clearly, uh, the man is holding the scale and you, they don't know what direction that they should be taking. Is it a yes or is it a no? So these are the things that are really coming into play. So with these three cards, I'm already seeing that you know you are struggling in making a decision so maybe you have your own reasonings i mean a lot of aries people you know they don't really contemplate so much so the fact that you are contemplating and making a decision means that there is something that is holding you back maybe you have a uh, your own reasons in that maybe there is a past situation that has occurred in and you know maybe um, there's some form of trauma or maybe some form of complicated situation um, preventing you in you know taking the action like you usually do or maybe you are um, wanting to be more certain with your own decision making so it could be that and the fourth card that we have over here is a four of wands so it could it can really say that 
maybe you had a really wonderful connection with this person whoever it is that you're thinking about now you had a really wonderful foundation with this person maybe it's it is someone that you thought of wanting to marry or someone that that has, you know, given you complete satisfaction, has given you some form of emotional fulfillment, emotional and physical f- fulfillment in your life. You know, it's something that is very uh, special, very sacred all at the same time. So, you know, this is all about good news. So it could be that, you know, um, whatever it is that is holding you back, you are the only person who knows the, the dark secrets or the, the the real story into that. But the, the basic energy that we're seeing here is that whoever it is that you're thinking about, whatever decision that you are about to make, you had a very special connection with that person. And it could be that you had a special relationship with them to a point where in um, maybe you are afraid of what can happen if you pursue things or, you know, those kinds of things. There are things that you are afraid, um, afraid of what is going to happen and afraid of what might not happen, all of those kinds of things. Now, our fifth card, we do have here the, the King of Pentacles. Now, this is like you know there a uh, one part of you is you know you are trying to be very much careful the king of pentacles is someone who is cautious they don't just um take action without much thought at the same time it could be a very egoistic um, nature maybe you're thinking your reasons or the things that you're thinking about has a lot of ego nature into it it could also be that if you're a woman you could be thinking about a specific man this stubborn man in your life or maybe not in your life but you wanted to connect with all those kinds of things and if you're a man yourself this is about you uh, being um, stubborn in nature you know maybe you have your own convictions and certain belief about uh, the relationship what has to happen what should not happen all those kinds of things it could be petty in nature i mean i wouldn't know you're the only one who knows that but there is a form of stubborn nature into that and you know but um but still even though that you are stubborn or this energy is stubborn it is telling us that you are thinking about it which means you know something is being triggered into your emotions that makes you think about the person that you know that once was special to you that kind of energy now as we go on to the immediate future we do have here the knight of pentacles now i really like this card you know this is always a card wherein it tells us that you know something that has been hold off in the past this is like a good sign wherein some form of continuation can occur so again this can also be some form of message some form of good news to come other um either that um i would say that this could be a form of message coming through maybe you are going to communicate you know maybe you are hesitating to make a decision and you eventually make that action make that decision so um yeah that could be one of the things that might come up again like i mentioned earlier this can happen in a vice versa kind of way wherein you might be the one initiating some form of contact some form of action or it could be the other person who's doing that for you either way this is going to be a great shift in terms of your love life and relationships now um here is all the fear we have here the hermit card which is representing your fears into the situation and your um emotional concerns and things so I feel that, you know, whenever the Hermit card is here, everything comes into introspection. So you're thinking a lot of things, even though maybe you haven't taken any action or maybe you have already done so. 
depending on when you are watching this video um there is still you know a lot of lingering thoughts and a lot of lingering feelings going on inside of you and maybe this is about you being fearful of being alone fearful of certain regrets that might be happening fearful that maybe you are not making the right choice so there are a lot of things that is giving you some form of hesitations into things and that is what the hermit is all about and you know this is not about you wanting to find answers this is about you taking action and accepting the fact of whatever action that you make conclusions of you know it, it doesn't it doesn't really make sense to to come to overthink about a lot of things it's okay to think before you act but um thinking too much even after you take the action can cause unnecessary worry and can cause you, 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 you to attract problems, attract negative thoughts. And, and this might be transferred into the relationship that should be wonderful for you. So all those kinds of things. Now we are seeing here the Queen of Cups next. So there is a form of sensitivity into this. It could be that, you know, it could be that the Queen of Cups is representative of you, how people see you. It could be, you know, your lover. It really depends on whether you're a male or a female. However, this gives us a really wonderful energy and it's telling us that your negative thoughts or the things that you are hesitating on doesn't have any much basis and you just have to trust whatever it is that you're feeling, you know, what your heart is telling you, you should really, you know, give them some form of trust. And no matter what has happened in the past, whatever struggle that you had in the past, you know, just let begones by begones now over here we do have here the two of pentacles and it's like telling us that if you do venture in, into the relationship again wanting to reach out wanting to connect or if you already done so this is a period wherein it's telling you that you need to take care of of this relationship you know um two of pentacles has a lot of balancing features you're balancing two things at the same time and when you are balancing two things you need to um give them a lot of care so that the other item or an, the other situation is not going to fall off and crash to the ground okay you need to put them all into consideration and put them all in great care so um yeah you might be um in a situation wherein you're trying to focus on what is in your heart and focus what is in your mind all at the same time but if you are you know at the path of renewing a relationship or maybe you have already ventured into all of this that i have already mentioned this is a period wherein you are going to really take care and be more serious about this relationship the outcome card we do have here the six of wands which is always a, a very wonderful card which is all about good news triumph and victory all at the same time this is telling you that you know you are at the right path and the decisions whatever decisions that you have been hesitating maybe at the beginning of the month will lead you to a very positive outcome and you know it's going to be a really um moving forward momentum in your life and in your relationships if you are hesitating still whether you should move forward with that person and you know have a future with that person this is actually giving us a wonderful sign already that you know um, moving forward with that person is definitely worth it of course um this is not always something to do with the past you know if you are the type of person who are is not interested in about the past the three of cups is also telling us that maybe you are just making a decision whether to pursue a certain person that you have recently met and maybe you know it's someone that has a 
really wonderful potential for for a very uh, divine or and blessed relationship that can lead to some form of maturity to the both of you and this is just telling us that you know moving forward with that person will lead to a very wonderful outcome and a very um fulfilling relationship all at the same time so um yeah this is a period of action and making some form of efforts the king of pentacles is that is the card we're in it's not afraid to take an effort especially if they believe that it's worth it so that is one of the things that you might need to keep in mind as you go along so um yeah this is my reading for a lot of aries people out there so i hope that you have a wonderful month of december 2020 and if you do want a more personal reading, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by crazy.com. And I shall see you guys again next month. Goodbye. I mean, next year. <laughs> Goodbye.